Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, thanks so much for joining. Today I am bringing you our <laughs> drifter challenge. I forgot what I was doing for a moment there. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can become part of the Raven family. And if you hit that notification bell, it's going to notify you when a new episode goes live on the channel. So let's just go ahead and jump in. We have Marcus here who is just going ahead and jumping into bed. It is about 2 o'clock in the morning and he is getting a late start to his rest. Jaden is just outside. She's feeling pretty good. She's got pretty decent needs and she is overall just deciding that, you know, she's going to dance on some counters. She's pregnant. She's happy. She's feeling good. She's feeling real good. <laughs> <laughs> she is a happy camper. They had been trying and not succeeding, and now she's with child, and she is a happy girl. Yes, indeed. So, we are currently in our second trimester in 18 hours, so she's just in her first trimester. As you can hear, there's some creepy things going on in the house right now because, yes, as we know... Our house is still haunted and so there's that. Let's see if I can get her to remove this creepy doll from the house. We already did get her to remove some slimy green stuff from the bathroom and overall yeah it's just it's just a mess this house. Um, I don't really know what the the course of action is on how to get rid of all of these things and make them go away forever but um, let's go ahead and attempt communication with our little friends here and see what the deal is. Everyone's up. Everyone has got enough rest for the day. She didn't even go to the washroom. Go to the bathroom. She's like, so do you know the astronauts or what? This ghost is looking at her like, I do realize we're from a completely different plane, right? Like, I'm in a different realm. I don't have anything to do with the astronauts. Okay, go on to the bathroom there. Marcus is just sitting out here at the fire. Alright, so I guess she's going to go ahead and try to get a little bit of rest. And I will catch back up with you guys when she wakes. Okay, she has woken up terrified from getting spooked. Jaden is having a bad time. Sims, who are this scared, need to occasionally scream it out for a bit. Try to get their fear in check by staying near a sacred candle or hiding under the covers for a while. What was that? From hearing a strange noise, Jaden knew this place was haunted, but some things are creepy no matter how you slice it. So she needs a sacred candle. I wonder where I can get one of those. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and hide under the covers. Um, and then I will see if I can find her a sacred candle. Let's put that there and we'll remove this plant. All right. Yeah, right. Oh. I'm back in bed. Is it cold? Okay, so we have her here in bed. I did get her the candle, and it is burning. It says spirits be gone. Place sacred candles to protect Sims and lower fear, but beware. Some entities will try to blow them out. Keep them lit and help your Sims get a good night's sleep. Made from only the finest wraith wax. She is still so terrified. Where's she headed? She's gonna harvest some things. Alright, why don't you go ahead and just sell them all? Alright, so she's gonna go ahead and sell all of the harvestables, and then I'm gonna have her go on and throw away the stuff that's in her inventory, and then I'm gonna try and get her to go back and, um, get a little bit of rest. It is fall day today. So with fall day, they need to enjoy a fire. That's the only thing that she wants to really do. She loves the tradition of enjoying a fire. So we will go ahead and get her to light a fire. And like I said, I want her to get a little bit of sleep. It is six o'clock in the morning, but she's so tired. She's not getting a good rest because of the um, haunted house and just being so terrified all the time. And I did want to show you what I did in here in the bedroom. So this is the baby's area over here. As you can see, uh, <laughs> everyone seems to be enjoying this area of the room. But this is the baby's area that I've put up over here. 
And when we get some extra money, which it does seem we got a little bit, we can go ahead and start replacing some things to get some more expensive items in the house. So I do want to like replace the oven and we'll get a more expensive oven in the house because right now we have the cheapest one that there is. So we will go ahead and try to get a more expensive one. Let me get a, another counter here. Let's go back to ovens. Okay, I'm actually just gonna get the over over the counter one for now, because we can't afford the other one. All right, go ahead and get yourself some sleep. No, okay. She's feeling a little bit hungry. Let's go ahead and see where she's at. So we are in our second trimester in 13 hours. And as soon as she gets into her second trimester, we will be able to find out what we're having. He's like, well, how do you feel? How's it going? How's the pregnancy coming along? And she's like, it's coming along pretty good. You know, I, you know, I'm excited about the baby. Do you maybe want to go to a parenthood class with me? Oh, they can't do that. 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 I forgot we can't do that. We don't have the money to travel. Happy holidays. Can I celebrate with you? Okay, sure. Can you repeat? Like, she really needs to practice her language with him. Can she practice, like, how to speak that language on the phone or what? I think he speaks Windenburgish. Alright, we'll get her practicing that because, honestly, they need as much practice as she can get because they're having trouble communicating. We're gonna also get her to get a little bit of rest. And Supriya's come over. And let's go ahead and cook a grand meal. We can't cook a grand meal because we don't have an oven. Well, we can have a thankful spirit at least. All right, I will fast forward and catch back with you guys when she wakes. Okay, she is up for the afternoon after her good bit of rest there. And she is just fixing herself a bit of a salad here because she is feeling a little bit hungry. What is she looking at? She's like, well, this is going well. No, don't do that. Jaden, please don't do that. Oh. Gross. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad you're the only one eating this. Because, ew. Actually, I think she made a big bowl. Yeah, she did. Well, awesome. Alright. Very good. So I'm just going to get her to try to appease the gnomes here. She's like, I can't get to the other one. Shambo, tarbe, shaba day. <laughs> well, what are they fighting about? Lumina. The food don't taste that great. Lumina. Well, that's because it's got a little bit of earwax in it. Ha. I mean... Ah. <laughs> we can't all be perfect there, Marcus. We can't all be perfect. Ah. Alright, and we're just going to go ahead and... What does that say? Modern medicine from antibiotics. They're making her nauseous. <laughs> because she has a UTI, she is on antibiotics. I read up on some interesting techniques. Want to try them out. Okay, so they're just going to go and have a little bit of fall day fun. So that's great for us. Or them, I guess. So I'm just going to fast forward through that. Okay, so Jaden has taken her medication for her urinary tract infection. And now she is just going to go ahead and give this last gnome the toy to appease him. We are currently in our second trimester in two hours. And all of the gnomes have been appeased. We are... It looks like going to need to repair this sprinkler system here. And Jeb has come over because he was bored. So we're just visiting with Jeb. 
She's gonna be like, Jeb, why is it that you always got a bag on your head? I don't understand. Like, what exactly is the deal with the area that you live in that they think that it makes sense for bags to be on people's heads? He's like, I don't really understand the whole situation either. I was just told one day that we had to start doing it and it just seemed like the right thing to do. And she's like, oh, all right then. So you do everything even if it doesn't make sense to you? You came over for the holidays and then you left. Now you want to come back? Okay, so she's just going to go throw this stuff away. That's fine. And then I'm going to have her go to the washroom before she wheeze herself. And we're going to give her time to go have a little bit of a shower. We do have some plant seeds that have started getting thrown out by the gnomes. So that's great. And it does look like Marcus is in bed. But we will be waking him up very shortly because in 16 minutes we're going to go and we're going to find out what the sex of the baby is. Oh no, we're missing a foot. That's awful. So we're going to go with Marcus to find out what the sex is. Hello, Gudri. Can you just take care of the house while we're gone? We have to... Um, Go find out what the sex of the baby is. Oh my god, look at her bump. That's so freaking cute. Okay, Jaden has returned from her gynecologist visit and has a ultrasound in her inventory that lets us know what the sex of the baby is. So we can just go ahead and put it here on the wall and find out what we're having. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So, let's get her to throw that away. And ultrasound examination results. The patient named above is pregnant with twins. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> it will most likely be one boy and one girl. The one series that I need to have one single baby and we're having twins. All right, so I need to get us another um, bed. And so we'll get rid of this rocking chair and we'll get us another crib. <laughs> because she's having two babies. Okay guys, there you go. We have us two bassinets for two babies um boy and a girl and i am going to need two baby names a boy name and a girl name because we are actually having twins and we will not be having the babies in this episode and the reason for that is she is going to be having the babies um through natural childbirth and so that will be an episode all of its own so uh, because the natural childbirth does take quite some time she'll be having the babies all all of her own um so uh, <clears throat> that'll be its own episode therefore uh you will have time to give me baby name suggestions so yeah we um definitely are gonna need baby name suggestions in the comments below one boy one girl i can't believe we're having twins after all of that time of us trying for babies and nothing and then we get pregnant and we have we're having twins look at her though look at them Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness, they're precious. She is precious. She is adorably precious. She is about to wee herself though. You should probably go to the bathroom like immediately. Like right now, even. Go on to the bathroom before you wee yourself, sweet girl. Trangela, Shopsim, or no Lumbic. 
You bought it? You mean? We talk. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I don't think you're going to make it. Get this thing out of here. Also increases the spiritual serenity of the house slightly. I think I'm actually going to leave that symbol here. It increases the spiritual serenity of the house. Then we're going to keep it. If it were something bad, I would probably get rid of it. But if it's something good like that, then... Um, yeah. We're totally going to keep that. All right, go ahead and go repair that. So she is nasty. She needs to clean the toilet. She needs to clean herself. She's repairing this um, sprinkler system that has been broken by one of the ghosts. There is an angry ghost out here. I don't know what his deal is. I think he's mad about the candles, to be honest. Do these candles actually like burn out? They do, don't they? Everyone's really, really upset. Like, all of the ghosts are really... I just don't know why they're really mad. Why are you in such a foul mood, little ghosty? She's like, seriously, what's the deal? I thought we were cool. Oh, he's not happy with her. Okay, she is absolutely terrified of the ghosts. They're like literally terrifying her. And we're going to go ahead and take these gnomes and put them in the inventory. And she needs to go take a shower because she has a green cloud following her. And that is not a good look. I don't know. The creepy doll supposedly increases the spiritual serenity of the house as well. Should I leave the creepy doll? I'm going to leave it and see what happens. These little ghosts are some kind of pissed. Anyone know how to get rid of the ghost? Because I've never played with the ghost and I have no idea how to get rid of them. Like, what am I supposed to do about them? So let me know in the comments below what I'm supposed to do about these ghosts because I would really like to get rid of them before the babies come. Um, but I don't know that that's possible. But I mean, I don't necessarily want the ghost attacking our little babies. That's not cool. Here we are currently in our second trimester due for our third trimester in 15 hours. Um, she is exhausted. She is terrified. She is sick because she has now the stomach flu for the next two days on top of the fact that she has a urinary tract infection. Uh, Marcus has gotten up and he is cleaning the toilet because she was too, you know, terrified and exhausted to clean that. Um, she's carrying twins, so, I mean, that's already hard enough on her. Um, but, yeah, we've got a lot going on in this, um, story. We've got a lot going on in this episode because I was not expecting her to be pregnant with twins. Um, currently right now our house is setting at, let's take a look at how much our house is worth. Our house is currently worth 16,242 simoleons and does need to be worth 30,000 simoleons. And we do need to have one heir uh, that we raise to young adults. So we will have to choose between the twins to figure out who's going to be our heir. So that will be up to us to figure out which one of the twins is going to be the one that we designate as the heir for Drifter002. Um, so we will have until obviously they're a young adult to decide between the two of them it, who is going to be our next um, in line to move forward with our next journey. But we are moving well along here. Now, as we get more money, we will fix up the kitchen. I plan to upgrade each of these appliances to their most expensive to hopefully get that. Um, like that'll help with the money situation a little bit, but yeah, that's currently right now. That's my goal. So, um, otherwise I don't know how I'm supposed to make this house worth more money. Um, make it a little bit bigger. I, I don't know.
We'll just have to see. Okay, so Jaden is up, and we are just going to get her to get herself a bite to eat, and also she really needs to go to the bathroom. She probably should have done that first, because now she's weed herself. Probably not <laughs> good. All right, sweet girl, go take yourself a shower. <clears throat> Okay, so she can shower and then I'm going to get her to resume this fruit salad here. And get herself something to eat. Well, she didn't even get herself dressed after her shower. She's just hanging out in the nude. There you go. Alright, finish that salad and get yourself a bite to eat. Ah. Oh. oh good, he's gonna fix that. That's even better. He likes handiness, so he's constantly fixing things around the place without even being asked, so we love that for us. Finish fixing that salad and we'll eat something and then we'll go and we'll use the washroom. Oh, that salad looks awful, yeah. It's not the best quality. It's poor quality actually, so you're not gonna like that very much. Look at her, she's like, you know, I don't really care. I'm hungry, so whatever. Honey, is the toilet almost fixed? We've really got a wee. Oh, just in the nick of time. Go pee. Before you go and pee on your stuff again. These twins are really doing a number on her. That's twice in one day she's peed her. We're not even in the third trimester yet. We're still only in the second trimester. Okay, we'll get her to mop this up. And then once she's done with her shower, hopefully we'll see if she can actually go ahead and come out here and sell these harvestables. She is not feeling the best because of her stomach flu, so I don't know if she will actually allow, like, if we can actually get her to do that or not. But I will try to get her to come out here. Oh, great. Now he's sick. Why are you sick? I can't get her to do it. Okay. Everyone is miserable in this house. It says she's nauseated. She has the stomach flu. She's uh, got a urinary tract infection. Okay, the doll's creeping him out. That's fine. Oh my god, is he gonna like die? <laughs> From all of being terrified? There. The doll's gone. Clearly these things are driving him into a, a state of frenzy, so we'll have to get rid of him. He could have just mopped it up. We'll go to the washroom. Oh my heavens, that's the third time you've pissed yourself today. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, her third trimester is in six hours. I'm actually going to go ahead and leave this one here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when a new episode goes live. And I am going to go ahead and fly for now. And I will see you guys in our next Drifter series episode. Bye, y'all. <laughs>